I think Future Build's really important to be able to bring people together who are doing lots of incredible action and incredible work in different spheres and get them to have a conversation together. I think that Future Build has this really great potential to expand the conversation that a lot of us are already having, going beyond the sort of carbon into something a bit bigger um, in terms of sort of more regenerative um, work and deeper, more holistic sustainability. I think Future Build's a great forum for innovation. I think it, just walking around today, seeing so many different people um, producing some amazing products, but also having conversations that are quite out of the box. Um, in the ACAN area, we've got natural materials demos. So innovating at lots of different scales and really helping to sort of empower and inform people how they can use products and skills and techniques that might seem a little bit different to what they're used to. So I think that's, that's what it's really great for. I think there's a few things I'd like to get out of Future Build. I mean, number one, um, ACAN would really love to build our network, get more people involved, um, and try and spread some consciousness about what we do as designers. So we're helping to um, support designers to uncover the hidden impacts of the materials they specify um, and start to think a bit deeper about that. So as an, as an ACAN member, I'm really keen to get more people on board. And then as an individual, I'm just looking to soak up all of the great information that's going on um, and go and see some amazing talks um, and meet lots of, lots of new people, hopefully. Most of the visitors here today are from the built environment sector and I hope what they take away is they have this huge power compared to most everyday people to enact positive change in their day-to-day -day lives and in their work and I think you hear the phrase a lot, every job can be a climate job and that's nowhere more true than if you work in the built environment because the emissions that are caused by the buildings we work on are so huge in comparison to our day-to-day -day, um, impacts and I hope that everyone comes away feeling empowered to make positive change. I think that the main thing is that we're making a stand to share the knowledge that we have, um, be as open as possible and to really try and engage as many people as possible in climate literacy. But we're also taking a stand on policy and we're really calling for the government to start regulating embodied carbon at a national level um, and to also put in place a natural, national retrofit strategy. So our stand is really trying to produce movement both at the upper levels and at the grassroots to come together to move the built environment into a more regenerative sphere.